not because they got me and not because they forced me to do this. I just feel so much. I just do the right thing for the kids and you know, I can feel the hate. And... The same way they, the same way they came at Kanye. Kanye started telling the truth and they made him, they made him take pills. Hace poco hablamos del boxeador estadounidense Ryan García, quien sin pelos en la lengua se animó a revelar un gran secreto de la élite. Bro, you know, you, the, you know, you know the higher elite, bro. You already know who they are, bro. You, you know the path you're going down is dangerous, my friend. I don't give a about. fuck. I don't give a fuck. They can't touch me. I'm a god. Well, that's the first point of contention because I care about you a lot and I can assure you from my own personal experience that they can touch you, which is bro, the worst part no, they it. can't, bro. All right, so come touch me, you fucking bitch. You have proof of these things? On, you have proof of this on your phone? Yes, of course I do. If Alex could get a fucking video from the Bohemian bro, of course I can. Algunos dicen que el deportista consume un tipo de sustancia los más sensacionalistas afirman que estaba poseído por un demonio. Pero no te dejes engañar por el contenido fantástico, ya que en la vida real nos encontramos con diferentes tipos de artistas públicos que no temen alzar la voz y que curiosamente terminan siendo ridiculizados o peor, silenciados. Incluso el mismo Michael Jackson parece haber sido víctima de esta logia perversa. Algo que Kanye West también se atrevió a revelar Mientras que los medios de comunicación casi guionados Se enfocaron en el antisemitismo para cancelarlo de inmediato Michael Jordan What about him? His dad, right? Bill Cosby, his son, right? Dr. Dre, his son. You know, out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. Hace días, en la cuenta oficial de TikTok, Ryan García se publicó una imagen del boxeador junto a Kanye West. Ahora todo cobra sentido al traducir la descripción que dice Esto podría romper internet I'm not doing this for clout I'm not doing this for anything This does nothing for my fight 
This is just me trying to give the facts and the truth of what I've seen throughout the years. And during this point and this time, there's a lot of eyes on me and I'm bringing awareness for the kids, the little kids that are hurting. I know you guys seen that video. I'm not even gonna say the name, but you know what I'm talking about. It starts with the J. And I'm trying to be as, I'm trying to be as calm as I can. Trust me, I'm trying to be as calm as I can. And I'm trying to be as safe as I can, but, but there will be a time. My why, it, last fight was for my son, Henry. I wanted to fight for him and, and that's what I give the fight to. This time, it's for the children around the world. I'm gonna give you guys some facts, since some people want some facts. Three fast facts, and I got a paper here because everybody likes facts, they want papers, right? Everybody wants the proof, okay. Well, let's go into, this is surface level proof. This is, this is common knowledge if you're really paying attention. Okay, the first fact, with human trafficking, including sex trafficking, the global industry of human trafficking, including child sex trafficking, is estimated to be worth 150 billion annually. That's crazy, that's crazy. 150 billion annually. Do you understand what that means? I don't even know how much Amazon is worth, but if this is worth 150, 150 billion, I mean, it's about time we start paying attention for the children. Number two, globally, the International Labor Organization estimates that 1.2 million children are trafficked each year. 1.2 million children are trafficked each year. Around the world. Around the whole world. The U.S. in particular, where we live, where I live, the U.S. is the number one nation in the world for consuming child sex material. Now, those are the three facts. And, and I already know about this. I'm going to go a little deep. No, don't worry. I'm not going to go into too deep stuff because at the end of the day, I got a lot of people telling me not to do this. A lot of people, you got to understand the pressure I have. A lot of people are asking, can you guys stop stop trying to join the live, please? I'm trying to speak facts right now. But let them know you're trying to leverage your okay. platform. And of course I'm trying to leverage my platform. For what? For the kids. Amen. So, dude, they're putting hats on me. I'm being serious right now. <laughs> At the end of the day, I got a lot of people that told me not to do this. That it's going to get bad for me. I don't care. I live for God. I don't live for anybody else. I'm gonna touch this really quick, really, really quick. The rules of satanic worship is it needs to be in your plain sight. That's all I'm gonna say. So everything that I'm saying is right in front of your face and you're not doing anything about it. You're not doing anything about it. I'm screaming to the world, putting my reputation on the line. I got people wanting to cancel the fight. People telling me I need to go to a mental rehab to pit me into the psych ward because I'm speaking the truth. Please help me and you help the children. You ask me what the next step is? I feel like we need to get together every, every time. Drug. They're gonna keep doing this to children. You know, Jeffrey Epstein ain't the only island. Hmm. That's what I will say. They blackmail each other so they can have a a union where they won't snitch on each other. Think about that. They do horrible things together so they don't snitch against each other and they're rich so they hold each other accountable. If you, if you say something, I'm gonna say something and everything comes down. Think about it. Let them, let them know about okay. your foundation you wanna start too. And I'm starting my foundation, Save the Children. Also release the truth, nonprofit, I don't want anything. Have I asked for one dollar from any of you guys? Have I made a dollar from anything I'm saying? If anything, I've probably lost money. It's crazy that you lost money for speaking the truth and trying to save children. What sane world do we live in? We, it, it's insanity for telling the truth now in a, in a world full of lies. Everybody went crazy when I said Bohemian Grove, and I'm not going to get into that. But it's the truth. 
and, and I'm hurt every day because they have tried everything in their power to stop me. And God pulled me through. As you see the rough three days I went through, but God brought me out of it. And you see how more clear I am and everything I'm saying. All I say is, look at my tweets. Is there one lie? Did they or did they not, hold up, come here. D did they or did they not let me in the Vatican? They did. Did they or didn't they not let me in the back room? They did. Did they or did they not show me all the stuff? They did. Another thing that a lot of people don't believe, but back in June, in the summer, this was before everything went down, but Israel and Gaza, BB wanted a meeting with me. Can you show them? All right, so this is on June 10th, 2023. One of BB's insiders asked to meet up with Ryan. He said, hey brother, good morning. I spoke with the prime minister, BB. He would like to meet Ryan, period. And it's right here on text, y'all can see. So that's, and I'm not gonna get further into that. That's just proof. Now you have a little bit more proof of what I'm saying. They think I'm lying. But I'm totally not. But let's get back to boxing. Let's get back. Okay. Let's get back to this and how this is going to shape your boxing. You know what I'm saying? Your camp and give you the motivation. You see Muhammad Ali, right? He standed up for something that was right. He felt like it wasn't right. And he went to jail for three years. I'm at the top of my career. I'm feeling the best at my game. I, I want, I I'm going to fight Devin Haney and I will beat him. And that fight is going to come on. Hmm. But this is a moment in time where we, the generation... We know the truth now. Yeah, and we can stand up for what's right. You hear the cries of the children. You hear them. I have babies. I have little kids out there. My, my own children. I can't imagine that happening. There is no clout that I get out of this. I was living fine. I was making great money. I had a lot of, I'm still making great money, but I had a lot of things going on. The same way they, the same way they came at Kanye. Kanye started telling the truth and they made him, they made him take pills. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna take no pills. You're not gonna see me touch no pill. I would love to go live with a person, one person, just one who's went through what I went through. And don't even worry about this because what the, what the Illuminati and the elites do is they take what God did and make it theirs. That's something they do. So eyes have a angels, bodies are covered with eyes. That, that supernatural ability to see everything, that's something God created. Your spiritual being, your spiritual self, your sense. Mm. That's something God created. Días después, en su Instagram, publicó unas declaraciones donde confirma que debe obedecer y no puede hablar más en las redes sociales hasta después de la pelea. Hey guys, uh, so I'm coming on here to say that I won't be posting until after my fight. Mm. Not because they got me, not because they forced me to do this. I just feel so a little unloved, you know. Um, it just hurts when you try to, you know, try to just do the right thing for the kids. And, you know, I can feel the hate and, and it hurts because, you know, all I do is do everything out of love and genuine love for everybody. Uh, at least I try to. And, uh, I'm just hurt and I'm ready just to fight. Como siempre, recuerda que tú tienes la última palabra. Esto fue para Lucidos.